Hey Aries, welcome back to the channel guys. So let's go ahead and get started with your weekly reading. We're going to see what is your overall message for the week. What are your overall messages regarding love, finances, and then we're going to clarify it to close off your reading. Guys, please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, click that notification bell. It definitely allows me to connect with you energetically and it helps me out with the growth of the channel. As you all know, these readings are timeless, general love readings, so they may or may not resonate with you. Please take what does, leave the rest behind. Time is fluid, so whenever you find this reading, you are meant to hear it. There is no gender in tarot, guys. Please reverse the roles as need be. Cross watchers, you are always welcome. Guys, if you are interested in a personal reading, the information is in the description box below. I did create a new link tree where you can see the options of readings that I have available. And you can also visit the options of rituals that I have available on my link tree. And I want to thank each and every one of you for all your love and support. It is truly appreciated. So guys, let's go ahead and get started here. Let's see what is the overall energy for my Aries. Oh, that was quick. Peace, serenity, and love, Aries. So this week is going to be all about a peaceful energy. You're not going to let anybody come in and fuck with your peace at all. Okay. You're in this place where you're just, you're just wanting to take some time to yourself. Okay. Um, things in your life are starting to change there. At the bottom of the deck, you got abundance. You got luck, fish energy. Um, and it's like you, you got a new opportunity. You got a new home. You got things that are coming towards you. Okay. Um, and this week, you're just all about a peaceful energy. I feel that in the recent weeks, there's a lot of things that have been going on as we started going towards our Mercury retrograde energy. Things started falling apart. Things weren't just right. You've been very overwhelmed, Aries, so you are going to take some time this week and you're just pretty much going to chill, relax, and try to see what's going on with you, your finances, and your family, and the opportunity of purchasing a home. Right now, you're not going to allow anything or anyone to come in and screw with your serenity, to screw with your peace. It's all about you. Universe, Archangels, Spirit, Angel Guides, and Guardians, what are the messages that we have here for my Aries? For the week in regards to love. What messages do we have for my Aries? Aries, you're about to get a message here. And this message is going to consist of an apology. Okay? So somebody here did you wrong. Somebody acted stupid and foolish. Okay? But I feel that someone is trying to come back and work on this connection with you. They could have very well put you in a third party here. Okay? And if that is the case, just to let you know that third party is completely done. And this person feels that the connection with you and them, it isn't finished. And they're wanting to come back towards you and offer you commitment. To some of you guys, this is a this is a miracle for you. You've been hoping and praying for this individual to come back towards you. And I feel that this person is about to make that grand entrance in your life. So there's definitely someone that's coming in towards you this week in regards to love. And they want to apologize for their foolish energies and behaviors from the past. They do want to work on this connection with you, Aries. Universe, Archangel, Spirit, Angel Guides, and Guardians. What is the overall messages here for my Aries regarding their finances, please? What can Aries expect this week regarding their finances? I got beware. Be prudent. Things are not what they seem. Universe, Archangels, Spirit, Angel Guides, and Guardians. I feel that you have come into some type of financial abundance here, okay? And you got people around you that are trying to screw with your finances. Be very careful, Aries, okay? There's people out there that are just trying to screw with other people's things. Um, I just heard um, Black Web. So make sure that you're protecting your personal information. Try not to apply for too many things online. I feel that your social care number might be even compromised in something. So make sure that you're putting some type of um, black on your credit report where people aren't able to just run your shit and open up new new um bank cards or, or new credit cards or whatever it is um just make sure that you're keeping an eye on that a very careful eye on that because i just heard, i keep on hearing black web so stop applying for stuff online if that's something that you've been doing and then you go embrace the wisdom of the unknown okay so for some of you guys i feel that this is going to be something that you are completely unaware of okay and you're being told to embrace it understand it um 
block it, work on it, do something to it, okay? Just, it's something that's about to come towards you and it's very unknown and you're being told to pay a lot of attention to it. And also, I feel that with this card, what I am getting here is that it's a new opportunity for you to move towards something more abundant, okay? So if you're having some type of trouble at work here with somebody and um, you feel like they're stealing from you or they're doing something inappropriate, embrace that, understand that, move away from it, know that it's not your place or your position and you need to get the hell out of there okay um they you get setbacks but it it is in the reverse though okay and then you also have motivator that flew out over here i just realized this so maybe you're motivated to move towards something new or new opportunity or maybe even go back to school and take care of something or look or do something different you may be going through a minor setback if you have to walk away from your current employer that is okay because things will be changing for you okay so just be careful with your finances, with your personal information. I feel that you got some shady people out there that may want to ultimately screw with you. You're going to have to take your time this week before you make any type of major decisions here, Aries. But you may ultimately decide to walk away from a current situation in regards to your finances. Universe, Archangel, Spirit, Angel Guides, and Guardians, please help me give my Aries clear and concise messages for the week, please. What is going on with my Aries for the week, please? Three of Cups energy. So most definitely this week, someone is coming back towards you because there is a reunion and reconciliation that's going to get ready to happen. Okay? Ten of Wands energy here in the reverse. I feel that this person caused you a lot of burdens and stress in the past. But they are coming back to alleviate that, correct that, and apologize for that. Okay? I do have this Queen of Swords energy in the reverse. You currently have your back turned to this individual. But like I stated, they're coming in with an apology, okay? They're no longer toxic. I feel that this person has come to terms and realization that made they made a lot of mistakes in the past when it came to you and this relationship. And they're ready to take full responsibility for their shit show and shenanigans, okay? It is your choice whether or not you want to be able to trust this person or not. But I feel that this individual is going to come in here. They're going to be very persistent to get you to believe them and trust them once again. Because they want this relationship back. They do want to make it work here. Okay. They're hoping and praying that they can reach some type of peace, harmony, and balance with you. Have a new opportunity. Possibly be able to get past this gate. Get back into the house. So there is someone from your past that's getting ready to come back towards you. I feel that they're not coming in with any toxic energies or behaviors. Universe, Archangel, Spirit, Angel, Guides, and Guardians. What are the overall messages here for my Aries, please? In regards to their weekly energies, what's going on here? You got this white noon here. So I feel that for a lot of you guys, there's a lot of new beginnings that will be getting ready to come towards you. Especially after this Six of Cups energy here. You may choose to reconcile with your ex. And that's going to ultimately bring in a lot of abundance for you. It is going to end this all out war here. It is going to give this relationship a new opportunity with the Wheel of Fortune. It is going to bring something new here, but I do feel that in the back of your mind, Aries, you will always be thinking about this freaking Queen of Wands energy in the reverse, okay? You will always be thinking that he or she left you for that person, okay? You're the Queen of Pentacles in the reverse. He or she left you to pursue a third-party situation, so in the back of your mind, you're always going to be overthinking it and wondering if this person's going to do that to you once again. You're being told to let that go already, Eight of Swords energy. Because if you do accept this person's offer with the Page of Cups energy, and you do choose to move towards this situation with the Two of Cups energy, you got to you gotta trust the person that you're going to be with, okay? You can't start a relationship and still worrying about a third-party situation. Remember, you are grown enough to accept that people make mistakes and if you choose to work on this relationship work on it the right way don't go put yourself into some unnecessary drama or energy if you don't have to okay if you just don't have to some people tend to want to fix their relationships just because they get super excited that their ex came back but can you trust them again can you really leave a, live a, p a peaceful life and if so then pursue the connection if you can't then let it go what are the final messages here for my Aries universe, Archangel, Spirit, Angel Guides, and Guardians? Yeah, Three of Wands energy. You got to get past whatever this person did to you in the past with the Black Gnome here or Moon here. Okay? This King of Swords energy. I feel that this individual is going to come in with a lot of clarity. Okay? And if you do choose to sit down and talk to this person, you're going to have to let that guard down, Aries. Okay? You can't always be guarded to this connection. If you do want to achieve happiness, peace, 
abundance, new opportunities, then you got to let go of what, what happened in the past, okay? Because if you are choosing to move towards this connection, then you got to give it the fair opportunity it deserves. But if you're going to be sitting here for the next 20, 30, 40, 50 years to one of you guys dies, always thinking about, are they going to put me in a third party again? Then what type of life are you going to have? It's pointless to pursue it. So you might want to think about this before you get into the connection, before you rush back into a relationship. But there's definitely somebody that is coming towards you from your past. And they're hoping and praying that they can achieve some type of peace, harmony, and balance here with you. A new opportunity. That is your choice whether or not you want to move towards it. I feel that it's going to be a good opportunity. But you also need to be very careful with your finances and somebody who can potentially be backstabbing you in your business career employer whatever it is just be very careful make sure that you're putting the necessary um precautions or the necessary alerts on your credit report because somebody here i don't know why but i feel that somebody here applied for something online and your information got out to the black web okay so just be careful with that all right guys i hope and pray that this reading gave you the clarity that you needed Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, click that notification bell. And if you're interested in a personal reading, the information is in the description box below. I'll talk to you guys soon. Take care. Bye.